Now, I'm one of the five people on the face of the earth who did not watch the fight. So I want your reaction. Okay. You didn't miss much. You know, every time, oh, it was the greatest fight, it was the greatest fight. No, it wasn't. It was throwback to the holy, not holy field, the, the George Foreman Ali days where it was dirty fight. Now, Dante Wilder, he needs to learn to control his arms, get his punches on target. Because if he would have did that, he would have won. Um, Fury got saved by the bell twice when Wilder was getting in that ass. Fury went old slew Bush League. I'm not going to fight you for real. I'm going to hit you with a couple of punches. I'm going to sting you a couple of times. When you retaliate, I'm going to grab you. I'm going to headlock you. And I'm going to put my weight on you. So, Wilder, you know, he's in shape, dude. But at the same time, he's like Tyson. He's not built to go 12 rounds. So, if I put my 270-pound body leans on him for at least a third of every round, if not half the rounds, at some point, you're going to go ahead and uh, get, start getting tired. And as you get tired, the arms are going to start dropping. And as they drop in, it's time for me to ring that bell. And as it happened in the 11th round, Wilder was tired. Because the whole fight, all he did was lay up on him, grab him, headlock him, put his weight on him. Because he was losing through the first five, maybe six rounds. The seventh round, definitely eighth round, that's when he took over. So it was like, I can't respect it. It was on some real bullshit. It, just, it wasn't boxing. You know, they wasn't, it just, oh, I'm going to you in the headlock. I'm, I'm hitting you while I got you. I was like, that was just some real whole shit. Glad I didn't pay for it. I hated that I stayed up till 12 o'clock watching. I had to be at work the next day. But it definitely, the UFC I watched the week before was better. That's the sad part about it. The UFC really is better than boxing right now, as far as heavyweight. But it just, it, I feel bad for Wilder, Dante, because he won the first fight. They called it a draw. He act, he lost the second one. He legit got his ass whooped. The second one, Fury actually fought in the second one. The third one, he was giving Fury the business, but Fury just did his old, them old schools, 1970, 80 tactics of just leaning on the person. And that was it. I got tired of watching it was so damn boring. Now, I wouldn't call it 1970, 80 tactics because in the 70s and 80s, we still had real heavyweights. Yeah, but I'm saying something that would do the whole weight, lean on you, put your they body on you, whatever to tire you down. It's a yeah, throwback I mean, to old boxing. It is a throwback, but, you know, we had more fighters than brawlers in the early mm -hmm. days of boxing. Now there's more brawlers and holders now. And that's, a, that's Dante's problem. He's more of a brawler than a boxer. He needs to find a happy medium. I just feel bad for him. So now he got Fury on his on him as basically three L's, a draw and two losses. Yeah, that does kind of suck. Yeah, so his neck, then they go talking about Fury such a great champion. He goes everywhere to fight everybody. And Anthony Joshua had lost. I forgot who he lost to. And he's, I'm pretty sure Fury's going to go fight him wherever he wants to fight. Fury doesn't hire anyone. He goes to fight everyone everywhere. I was like, man, if they don't get up out of here with that. <laughs> well, you know, they're trying to give him his props for what, what he did. So yeah. I guess I can get, get with that. Mm, maybe. Uh, the fight, I mean, shit, Deontay Wilder got his ass beat. That's, I mean, it is what it is. That dude, he, he can't. No, let me tell you what. He fucked up after the first two rounds when he stopped punching him in the gut. I mean, yeah. you had the man's gut red as all get out in the first two rounds, and he had no answer for it. Deontay Wilder did not have the patience to continue with that attack to soften his body up. He knocked his shit outside of his damn trunks. like, And he mm -hmm. never went back to it after the second round. He instantly started doing that head hunting, that one-two shit, and that's what got his ass knocked out. You know, some you can train a motherfucker to do something all the time. You can try to train 
old habits. But when you're a boxer, man, old habits die hard. How many heavyweight fighters do you know have changed their fighting style when they were 41 and oh with like 40 knockouts? You know what I'm saying? How do you go? You don't change. He, he's in, he's incapable of changing his style. He was always going to go in there and try to just go for the, the right hand, the big shot. He spent all that time in training camp working out. That's all the fuck that was. Because if you go out there in the street fight, instincts are going to take over. You're going to do what you know you do best. If you know I got this move where I grab this motherfucker by the head and try to pull him down and knee him, you're going to do that shit. Regardless of what boxing gym you've been in, how you've been punching the heavy bags, who's in there talking to you, when you standing in that ring, man to man, you got them gloves on, you're going to do what the fuck you did to knock 40 other motherfuckers out. True. You're right. You're just right. that, just that, but that shit wasn't going to work with Tyson Fury. He had a game plan. He dropped that shit in two rounds, and the rest is history. The rest What's is that? history. What's Nobody. that Mike Tyson used to say? Everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Here's the thing. He would have been fine because he, he would have slowed Tyson Fury down. He would have took some of them steam, you know, some of that steam off of them punches. Tyson Fury's a big boy. That, that man's punches hurt. They're going to hurt you. You got to take some steam off of that. He never, a man showed you his stomach and you decided for 11 rounds, well, no, you did the first two rounds. So for nine rounds, you were just going to start punching at his head. Horrible game plan. So, with while with that fight happening and everything, is his career done, or does he just go fight Joshua next? Wilder, Wilder ain't get, who's who Wilder? Yeah, Wilder just if, if he fights anymore, man, it won't it won't be for the belt. Uh, you know, he'll fight somebody like Andy Ruiz. I don't think because Joshua don't have the belt no more. Remember, he lost the week prior. No, no he's, they already got the automatic uh, rematch with that. Him and him oh, and okay, Usyk okay. Fight again. He's going to probably beat Usyk the second time, so they can go ahead and do the uh, Joshua Fury fight. That's the only fight left to make because I don't want to see Fury fight Usyk because he's going to beat his ass. There's no reason for him to fight Deontay Wilder anymore. The only fight to make is Fury Joshua. But that's if Joshua gets past the Usyk. He can very well get his ass beat by Usyk again. Yeah. And then you don't get fear of Usyk. The, the, the unification for the heavyweights is coming. <clears throat> it's right. coming. It is whether, whether it's Joshua or Usyk, one of those two are going to fight Fury. Deontay Wilder or anybody else. Here's the thing. Everybody else below De Deontay Wilder can't beat Deontay Wilder. Okay. So there's no other fights to make. Fury, Usyk, Joshua. Some combination of that has to happen. Has to happen, yeah. Has to happen. That's the only way it's going to get unified. Nobody else matters in the heavyweight division. You got some young up-and-comers, but they're going to have to go through Fury. And if we get this far with it and they don't unify the heavyweight championship, man, then boxing is going to piss me the fuck off. Oh, wow. There you have it. All right, let's backtrack. Our, real quick. Our, our Larry Merchant has spoke. <laughs>